Okay, so here's your commercial machine. This one is basically, they had a bad agitator. So there's little things inside here, they're called ratcheting dogs. If you can turn your uh, whole agitator like this, then they're good. If only the top turns when you turn this counterclockwise, then the, the ratcheting agitator dogs need to be replaced. These I just replaced. It should turn this way freely like so. If your whole agitator doesn't turn like this, then the agitator dogs are shot. Okay, so I was going to check the lid switch. Lid switch. You should hear a clicking sound when that goes in. If you don't see that top right there, it's likely the lid switch is falling apart inside. Okay, so if your machine doesn't come on, you gotta definitely check this. You can bypass it inside. Um, this one, the agitator is definitely not working. If you see, we turn it like this, the whole agitator should turn. The bottom part should turn. This one's got a little bit of slop. Let's see if we can bring it back together. This is 7 16 nut that holds us on. Down under there. Stick your finger down there and pull the cap off. The 7 16 down there. may have to get a wrench. What I do sometimes is I'll put my foot down here to hold it. I'm going to have to get a wrench on this. What happens is sometimes if these are too tight, they'll bust that nut and then you got to drill it out and uh, put a new nut in it. Uh, so the way you put these back in, after you put the dogs in, you put the insert part in there. get it in there and you put your you put your nut on your nut driver and I put a little bit of grease on this just because uh, I never want to have these things stuck in there um, gravity kind of holds these in so once you got that in you want to turn this upside down or at least sideways so you can set your uh, screw in there or your nut Get it up in there. Easier said than done sometimes. But that's basically how you get it. You gotta set it like that. You can't just drive it straight down. Um, unless you have some kind of grabber. Uh, and then you have to turn this just a little bit so it's, it goes down. So that that thing seats all the way. You want to look and see where your your tangs line up here. And then I got these long nose vice grips that I used to uh, get down here and. Uh, Tighten this thing up to a cinch, and sometimes these things got uh, the rubber seals go bad on them. I just put a little uh, black electrical tape over them. Make sure the agitator's pushed all the way down. And that should do it. And these are the old agitator dogs. And you can see they're pretty well wasted. Um, they have these little teeth on the back of them that hold them in place like that. But they break apart. This is the, these are the part numbers for that. What I do is, I take, uh, sometimes I'll take this hot glue and stuff it in there if I don't have any uh, new dogs. And so, uh, you know, it, it kind of gives it a little bit better performance if you, if you, you know, have something in there. Um, what I've seen is actually people will take and uh, put screws in the agitator so it's one piece. But the thing is, is that 
It doesn't spin. This, this ratcheting agitator tends to tumble the clothes in the basket. So it tumbles the clothes and then uh, kind of uh, circulates everything in there. Okay, leaky washing machine. Okay, I looked under it. I couldn't see any leaks. Got a good pump. What's well, uh, I can't figure it out. So I just go ahead and do a load. Do a load. And this is actually at the rinse cycle for this load. Um, rinse cycle. So what, it, what happened was when I was watching it pump out, it started leaking down here. And so basically, if you look at this train, you can kind of see the water level has come up to here on this drain. And so what we're going to do is we're going to snake this out, snake this drain out. Um, and hopefully that will solve the problem. A little bit of water here on the floor. Caution, wet floor. Okay, so we got one of these little Harbor Freight d -Dad specials. 25 foot. Stick, it on, stick the drill on the end and just drill your blues away. Okay, let's give it a try and see if this is going to work. It's probably going to be a 90 right down there, so it might be a little tricky. I might have to do it by hand at first. Okay, pumped out the barrel full of water. It's not leaking. I actually had some drain cleaner. I pulled out a small hairball in there. It wasn't much. behind the scenes. I think we're good though. Before it was like pouring out of there. I think we're good. So that's your Kenmore tip for today. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.